there's a concept called tech expressionism, which I'm a, a very strong uh, believer in right now, which kind of disp explains the type of work that I do. Because essentially what it is is I'm using a camera to capture the essence of the image, and then I use various tools to draw out the character and the experience of that particular situation. Uh, the image that you see behind me is a relatively static image, except the colorations and the movements are what I use the tools for, the electronic tools predominantly, to, dra to, to drag out the lines, the color, and the volumes of the image. Well, the, the piece you're referring to is called No Monkeys. And the reason why it's called No Monkeys is because actually those are 55 gallon drums that were painted different colors. And what I did is the barrels were painted with all sorts of different colors in terms of what was in it, like hazardous waste and all that kind of things. One piece is the, the piece that looks like a heart. Okay. Uh, that is, that shows very clearly how one can let the image escape from your mind. That particular image began its life as an aspen leaf. A normal aspen leaf in the fall, which has yellows and a little bit of red. And what I did is I took the aspen leaf, I extracted the colors, and then created these images that was on the aspen leaf itself that it's almost impossible to see where a photograph generally is a two-dimensional static object that looks the same no matter where you are, no matter what lighting it's in, it's always the same. Where what the dimensional objects I use essentially change with all the different lighting. It changes with the different heights of the viewer or the different levels of, of the viewer's eyes and also the different emotional experiences the viewer has.